my channel it is baby Shar. so today we're going to be talking about styling outfits for instagram and some tips and tricks that i just want to talk and discuss with you guys just a psa this is not a video about how to grow your instagram okay so the very first tip i want to give you guys is the powders that you guys use when doing your makeup so my favorite for a very sunny bright day is the Cody Airspun powder. It looks amazing in sunlight and in the shadow of sun. By the way, I'm actually wearing it right now. My face comes out so much more clearer and blurred for some reason and I have no idea why but it only ever really happens with the Cody Airspun. Now let's talk about night pictures because I take a lot of night pictures. So taking pictures at night we don't want any flashback and what I really recommend is the RCMA powder. I love that powder it always looks so good in flash pictures you guys can also use it for daytime if you guys want to i just flip flop between the two because i like the blurring effect that the cody airspun powder gives you another makeup tip for you guys when it comes to instagram photos is the makeup on instagram and stuff it has to be kind of dramatic okay like it's not gonna show up in the pictures unless it kind of looks a little bit crazy in person and i'm not even gonna cap cameras don't pick up makeup that well when doing your makeup just keep that in mind um anything that you want to detail on your face make it a little more dramatic just because it is going to show up way better on camera so before we continue with this video i actually wanted to talk about today's sponsor which is dossier you guys know i talk about them all the time on my channel and it's because i'm just such a strong believer of them so recently i've upped my game when it comes to self-care i mentioned the same scent in the last video but i'm telling you guys i've been using this it's like kind of like going down just like okay like that's not a lot but this thing is kind of a lot oh my god i realized this is gonna last me forever this smells freaking just so scrumptious. Dossier makes designer dupes and all their bottles are $29 compared to actual designer scent, which usually are like $50 to like $280 in retail. So if you buy three or more bottles, you can actually save 25% off and also get free shipping. They have a risk-free system that allows you to try them out with no commitment at all. If you guys want to support them, I will leave their link down below in the description including the scent that I'm currently in love with and you gals can also use my discount code which is babyshar10 this isn't really a makeup tip before you go out put some lotion on <laughs> this is something I lacked so much throughout like all my Instagram pictures is literally putting some lotion on there's not a day or a night that I don't go out without lotion at all you know I do the whole like 360 if you guys want to see like a shower care routine bitch I got you I highly highly recommend the Nivea one and the one that's like all the way moisture so good it moisturizes your skin so well okay it's not just like it looks super nice and gives you such a nice glow no girl like it moisturizes you so well love that have been using it for years and i'm almost out i gotta go buy a new one other than lotion you guys can use like body shimmers if you guys want let's talk about devices when taking instagram photos so i have an iphone 11 pro max this phone used to take good pictures until i cracked the camera my actual regular camera is broken and that is why like most of my photos now kind of come out cloudy but i don't use it as much i actually use my canon g7x to take photos and so many of you guys always ask me like how the quality can be so good in some of my photos and it's just because i use my camera people actually like iphone pictures way better than they do camera photos i think it's just because it's just more relatable definitely if you guys are starting to grow i highly recommend just use your phone because this is going to help you a lot most people do it on their phones anyway i feel like another important thing that we should talk about is your outfit what kind of aesthetic it's kind of giving off and your location that you are actually going to so for example if i have a nice beautiful fancy dress it's long it's giving like vintage chanel okay i'm not gonna go take a picture in 
the parking lot. I would rather go to a cute, fancy restaurant or something that looks kind of vintage, has beautiful staircases. It is so important. Like, I can't tell you guys how much it is important because that can determine whether or not you're having a good picture day i literally go on google earth and i just start like you know going around places especially in the cities here it's dangerous to like walk around just by myself i literally go on there and i just walk around virtually and look at places where i want to take pictures or what could be a potential place for me to take a picture let's talk lighting you have to pay attention to when the sun goes down and when the sun comes up just as the sun is coming up, I feel like that's like the perfect time to take pictures and just when the sun is going down right after golden hour or if it's super sunny and we are out in the daytime, it is not going down for like another couple hours. I always make sure that I take pictures in the shade or I'm taking pictures like in a building with a lot of windows. If you guys need help when it comes to finding really good lighting, take my selfie camera here and I just like go around and look at what places could possibly be like a good lighting situation on the phone. Another tip, if you do not have a lot of time, most of the time I do go with friends, but let's say you only have one day, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna plan a whole bunch of outfits at home of all the stuff you're gonna wear for content. You're gonna plan your locations. Make sure you eat before you go as well. Do your makeup, do your whole body care that you need to do. Plan a day with a friend to go and shoot all of this content in one day. You can clear your schedule, you can make sure that locations are very close together so you can be as time friendly to your schedule as possible. Highly recommend, I do that with my friend Elena all the time, we take pictures, we schedule a day out of the week when she's off of work and when I am available and we even check the weather and everything to take pictures together. We send each other a whole bunch of locations. We save a whole bunch of locations. The way that we've been doing it, we've been able to push out a lot more content as of recently. Another tip for you girlies, if you guys are gonna take multiple outfits in one day, make sure you guys switch out your jewelry. That is the most common way that you can see that it was taken in the same day. Another thing is your hair. Your hair gives it away all the time. I honestly don't really care because I should be able to post whatever I want to post and you guys should feel the same exact way but if you guys want to really switch up your photos I highly recommend learning how to do new hairstyles um, learning how to put extensions in learning maybe dye your hair do crazy stuff with your hair so I just want to let you guys know the more that you do this the more you will come up with what works for you you first need to start that's what's making them stop is just even starting at all you cannot be great without starting guys you have to just start and start taking action start taking pictures start filming videos if that's the case you have to be willing to go through this entire journey okay in order to have some growth anyways though we're on to the next portion of the video which is the styling i will be styling three outfits for you guys literally raw like i'm scrubby in this clip i wanted to keep it as realistic as possible <laughs> everything on this section over here that has color is for the spring and stuff that i want to wear either on my instagram on my tiktok like, these are my essentials these are things i wear under most of these type of pieces because these are more like outgoing pieces i got this blue button up you guys know if you guys watch any of my other hauls that i am in love with this blue and i'm in love with um this like four screen color those are my top two colors for this year so these are cream like you know yellow toned white shirts and these are like actually white shirts i like these types of tones when i'm wearing like warmer colors or specifically earth tones i like wearing these but when i'm wearing really bright solid colors i like to wear white i think it just makes them pop more so we're gonna go with the white top here this is how this is looking at the top right and don't get me wrong it looks very plain right now but we haven't accessorized and mind you i'm not doing my hair in this video you guys have to get nipple pasties okay not the flower ones you have to get the circle ones and i think these ones are from target but you have to get the circle ones or else you can see the flowers so i don't really know like do we want to wear jeans do we want to wear shorts 
guys i also have these really cool blue pants <laughs> this outfit would be so bright but they're just striped and they're the same like tone of blue i don't know how i feel about them i actually think a white button up would look so much cuter with this outfit oh my god i love the pop of blue see this is trial and error because sometimes outfits just don't work out and you feel as though you don't have the correct piece as of right now for a certain outfit which is okay i deal with that all the time it's got me snatched it's vacation-y <laughs> like i am in love with this outfit and this is gonna be the outfit for today's tiktok being very fun with jewelry would be something like this i don't think i'm really feeling this i am feeling pearls like I love wearing pearls recently. Recently, I feel like I've been feeling wearing crystals more, like especially necklace wise. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Next up we have these like shorts. These are so flipping cute guys. Okay, so these shorts honestly look so cute with this shirt. Like I would definitely wear this shirt with these shorts cause they're so flipping cute. Cute. So I was kind of thinking like this black shirt because I feel like the black shirt would make it look so clean But the thing is I actually have a white one as well like the same shirt I have this one and it has more of a worn look to it and I kind of like that I hate the fact that it's like branded like this like I wish it was just plain Like I don't know where to get good quality ones but that are plain, you know? Okay, so I paired it with this white button up. If I had a pair of cute shoes that are black, I would wear them with this outfit. I'm a casual gal, like I have to know that I like the outfit in order to go and take pictures. Let's see how this looks, cause we can build and keep building outfits from the same simple stuff. You just switch everything out. Oh my freaking God, these are so flipping cute guys. I absolutely love these dickies. Like I said, guys, I do wish that I got them a little bigger. They are not stretchy. Um, but yeah, I I still like this fit with this shirt, but I mean, we could switch it up if we want to. Should we try this top? It's white. Okay, see how this makes a huge difference? Like this looks super clean. By the way, I just tucked this in. It's actually like this and you can totally wear it like this but i feel like i'm losing kind of some shape on the side because the top is like that i don't know okay so i am loving this fit but i think for the necklace you could definitely wear this if you want to um i think i'm gonna switch it out okay i think i'm gonna wear this jade necklace instead this is from etsy i know so many of you guys been asking me and it's from etsy if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give this video a like. By the way, let me know what video you guys want for next week. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys click subscribe down below and join the babies. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!